Good day everyone, welcome to a new update in which we'll be discussing whether you should buy altcoins at this stage as it's a quite questionable approach right now given the fact that Bitcoin is breaking out upwards which could be pushing the Bitcoin dominance up as well. We're going to dive into a few altcoins on their Bitcoin pairs to see whether they are doing fine. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like the YouTube update and do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. At 50k followers on Insta, I'll be doing a, a, a giveaway, so do not forget to follow me there. Also, looking at the markets right now, or with the entire breakout, we've done a nice a discount of 25% recurring on all memberships. If you want to become a member on silver, gold, or platinum, well, platinum is, uh, is sold out. If you want to become a platinum member, please contact us. If you want to become a gold member and get my trading strategy, you can use the code 82moon, apply the coupon, and then you get a 25% discount recurring on your membership. So the price will be 25% deducted all over the time. Looking at the markets, uh, we are seeing that many altcoins have been correcting all the way back towards their Bitcoin levels, pre-cash crash levels. So we've had... Uh, a nice crash in May, then another slight run up and all those altcoins have been crashing back down. One of them is Swipe and when you're looking at the price structure of Swipe against Bitcoin but in general altcoins against Bitcoin you will see that the valuation is quite low. Yesterday we have discussed Chainlink which has the same view and is still accumulating in the Bitcoin pair through which you can assume that when it's at support or when it's in the bottom of the range just like Swipe is at this point it might be undervalued compared to Bitcoin as the valuation is uh, or at least Bitcoin is overvalued or swipe or the altcoins are undervalued. Given the information that Bitcoin bounced back up and might be grinding towards the all time high until the fact that it doesn't really impulse towards the upside. So it gets towards the all time high and it grinds there in the coming months. That will usually be a great period for altcoins to start breaking out left and right. And that's li literally what we are seeing in the past few days. Altcoins are doing quite well. When we are looking at swipe against Bitcoin, we can see that it approached support once again. We are making higher lows. We've made a slight lower high, but we're overall back into this range construction. So <clears throat> looking at the Bitcoin pair of swipe, you overall want to look at entry points around these regions and yes i get it everybody is discussing solana and all those other altcoins but at this point i think there's still many that have some very interesting points to to look for and the valuation of a bitcoin pair for an altcoin is literally what you're looking at swipe is one it's currently in support if it drops below this level of course we are um, invalidating this entire strategy but it's not the only one that is currently showing signals that it might become interesting. One of them is also Orion. Have we crashed down in May? Here was the crash after the big impulse wave earlier. What do we see? We do see a full retest of support once again. Um, and since then we are just consolidating and consolidating. But we are making higher lows. We are making higher highs. So the area that you're actually wanting to look for a potential trade on Orion is literally in this area too. So overall, altcoins are not at this point, meaning that when they are at the bottom of the range, it might become interesting to look for potential trades. As when Bitcoin consolidates, the likelihood of altcoins breaking out is significant. And uh, yes, we have been seeing massive bounces all across the board. We also see a lower correlation between altcoins and Bitcoin at this stage, which is great. Uh, I mean, this year we are seeing that over and over again, or at least more than what we saw in the past few years. So that is great. However, Orion, for instance, not much discussion on social media, as usually social media will be discussing the hype coins. And this one is just granting yourself a beautiful entry point, or at least it shows you once again that you should be watching those trades around these regions. Looking on some bigger coins, for instance, Algo. Big breakout earlier this month. Where are you looking for a potential trade at this point? You're looking at reference points based on historical price section. First one is obviously the retest around 2800 sets. Does it seem very likely that we're going to get that retest? Not the levels that we're looking at are those levels that we're seeing as previous resistance zones. And we're currently acting on one. 
not sure whether we are going to hit it and we reverse but if you want to scoop some trades you don't want to buy in this region you want to look at reference points based on historical price action and start looking for trades in these regions so then you get the optimal trade ID or at least the optimal trade. If you're looking for trade IDs, do not forget to check out our website, which has the discount during this weekend. So overall, the markets are doing fine, right? We can see some more altcoins having the exact same impact. I've made it initial trade ID here in which we uh, were looking for a breakout upwards as scale broke out of this entire range construction. But what we do see is that we're getting back into the range construction and back into the support over here. Oh, that's the Fibonacci. That is not the right one. So we're back at support, which as a matter of fact, you could arguably say higher lows are being created. So if this one holds around this support zone, we might be looking for another rally back up. And once again, as a conclusion, you're looking at support levels all across the market. Most of them are looking at support levels. And final coin that I want to discuss is Cardano, which rejected around that red zone of 5200 sets. Yes, the daily candle was higher, but the area initially that you want to get interested into Cardano or into altcoins is this green region, similar to the region that we've had here, similar to the region that we've had here, in which we had big impulse wave, crash sideways consolidation big impulse wave crash sideways consolidation breakout big impulse wave crash sideways consolidation breakout that is very likely what we're going to see here so as an answer to the title should you buy altcoins right now i think the chances are there and i think you should be getting interested in the markets as the final chances before the end of the bull cycle are here and you should take them and also do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel i'll see you again soon